There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. when he was super hard in the shower and right. he was like ben yeah. come in here yeah, and oh in. god oh, never mind <laughs> how do we always get surprised by the start of the live stream Every acting time. the Every writers time. are on strike it doesn't mean acting is dead no 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 <laughs> now actually i'll say now that the writers are gone actors can finally be free <laughs> <laughs> how do you write that? How do you write gurgling on a producer's uh, uh, cock? You, you can't, Henry. That's an action. I can already see the brave choices you're gonna make. <laughs> Look at how brave of a choice that is <laughs> as an oh actor. Oh, I'm sorry, Father. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. I cannot. I do not know where the Ark of the Covenant. Oh, is. No. oh. oh. Um, you'd be a great C-3PO. <laughs> okay, it's Henry. <laughs> I don't man. know why. Was that, a, was that a C-3PO Spando. gay joke? No, it wasn't. I was thinking like C C P three O, like watching three directors piss on his face, but uh, it didn't really work out. Hey, you know, Kissel just got done talking for two hours. Go pack, go. So this is the thing. It's hard, you know. He's getting all the reference there of saying hello to the chat. What's going on? Um, Christian Fodder says Ben. Ben is completely given up, and I'm here for it. Thank you. Isn't that really oh, nice? nice. Is it a compliment or pod? not? I don't know. I've learned not to care. Um, Good. Uh, guys, oh, so one more question. Uh, first uh, around, uh, who's everybody's favorite? Uh, what's everybody's favorite a Abba song? Man, man. Abba song? Dancing Queen. Mm. Oh, yeah. Dancing Queen. Mm. So that's a really tough one, but I'm going to have to go with Fernando. Sure. What? Sure, sure. There's sure. a song they have called Fernando? Yeah, Fernando. It's a wonderful song. Sure. Is it yeah. about him getting back to work? <laughs> Mind that you've ever heard that song that they did called Hitler Was Great? <laughs> uh, Controversial B side. On the album Liebensraum. Yeah. Yeah. Liebensraum. Yeah. I am so happy none of the members of ABBA have talked about any current events. No. It's I not think like that, Pink well, Floyd. I tried to. Pink Floyd was came on the radio today and I was like, it was no, like, hey, you. And I'm like, you know what? Over. I feel like I'm at a bar mm -hmm. and someone's on heroin and I need to shut them up. So then I switched the channel and it was Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. If finally oh, nice. a man I can trust. Mm -hmm. uh, ABBA's album, The Visitors, is also quite underrated and a good album in its own respect. It I'm, is actually, like, I'm actually a, a, an ABBA fan. Yes, yeah, Stockholm changed me because yeah. I didn't know that they had a bunch of different vibes. Oh, I yeah. thought it was just like teenage girls dancing in a disco, but actually there's some kind of – there's very – there's kind of a sad – Kind of what does, uh, they're very. I have a double. I have a double disc ABBA like best of like singles collection. Uh, I listen to it more often than you think I do. That's I the think you listen to it twice a day. I've ever heard. <laughs> Um, so it's Why is it called ABBA, though? Why are they ABBA? Who knows? It doesn't matter. It's dumb. Yeah, it's yeah. a fake Swedish noise. Okay, but speaking of heroes, it's your mandate, Henry. Yes, it is, and everybody knows. Again, actors are the real heroes here. Uh, mm -hmm. I know. I went and got uh, I went and got my dermatology appointment done yesterday. I finally <laughs> got a screening yesterday. Mm -hmm. And um, number one, can I ask why? Uh, in each new, it why seems to be go as to I've a gotten older. Uh, because you get, you get your screening, right? You go look. I get a bunch of lumps and bumps, or anything. I was looking oh, at all my I shit. Oh, lumps and bumps. Cancer. Um, but what is right. what is the thing now where every single appointment requires like a chaperone, where it's like the man I was standing there nude with the lovely I have a, a male doctor and a lovely nurse that was in there just watching me like a frog. They're training taken this, out of the swamp. It's yeah. because when they see you, they're like, "Get the nurse in here. This is going to be a great training experience. Why? No well, matter what, he's going to have a problem." Well, the problem was that he was going through all of my hair. And then at the all very of, end all of it, all of his hair. That must have taken. A, that must have been a pretty long appointment. No, it's my did body he, hair. He did, went he go, through, did he go? Oh, he through, went through your yes. body hair like you were a dog. He literally looked through it and he said, "Uh oh, is a fox gonna pop out?" Because he went through <laughs> all my thicket. hairs, and I was thicket. like, "What if I fucking set fire to this goddamn <sighs> clinic?" Did he use his fingers, or did he have a special hair parsing instrument? He had a tool. It was like a pencil. It was a. It was a gesturing tool. I, I would have brought too. out. I would have brought a big badger out. Yeah. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> it was weird how he used it to part the cheeks. Yeah. Uh, and then a little stethoscope and in a magnifying glass. So mm. how are your lumps and holes doing? Uh, I everything am good. Cancer free. He's just like this is all just standard. You're looking bad. Mm. <laughs> so standard. um. I just wanted to start this. Sounds whole like that manic. doctor needs a writer. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're on strike. Yeah. So let's take a look at this. First of all, someone who doesn't need a writer. And I wanted to show somebody whose day actually was much worse than my day was yesterday. Okay, let's see it. I could always feel I can have a little shot in Freud right now. Yeah. A little could, low on serotonin. I could go for it. I could laugh at somebody. Yeah. Give me a jolt. Yeah, please. 
So guys, yet another incident has happened. Here I am at a bus stop waiting to go mail my daughter's package. And once again, um, once again, I went to fart and shit my pants right at the bus stop. Oh, so I had to go to the McDonald's bathroom and clean up. Because there's no use in walking back to my house when I have to take the bus all the way to the post office. But let me tell you what happened to me once while I was on the bus when I had a job. I, I was on the bus and didn't have the inclination, if that's even a word, that I had to use the bathroom. But I drank a whole bunch of coffee and a whole bunch of cigarettes, and I know that well shit hits my stomach. But I got on the bus feeling just fine, not having to go to the bathroom. Halfway through the bus ride, I just couldn't hold it anymore, and I shit my pants. You know what I mean? And then I'm like, fuck, I hope nobody smells that until I get off the bus. And next thing I know, right after that thought came to my head, the guy sitting next to me on the bus got up and went to the back of the bus. Yeah, you I shit mean, your pants. she's Louise. Yeah. Yep, yep, Things yep, yep. that happened to me. You know, she, she's Louise. I feel bad for her. She's actually. sweet. She obviously has incontinence. Yeah. Incontinence? Incontinence. incontinence. Yeah, and, she definitely uh, has incontinence. Um, and, and she also has a need to be a star. The Henry, diet uh, of cigarettes and coffee, it is a good diuretic. It's very, I mean, well, it's a more, more of a diarrhea. Di yes. Diuretic, that's what makes you pee. Yeah. Oh. You, you're talking about is a laxative. Oh. Of a sort. Well, whatever she's doing. I don't know if she's doing a lot in the keeping things solid department. No, isn't she's it, not. But isn't that all part of the ambiance of a bus? I mm. almost want someone to be defecating themselves. When I took a bus way back in the day to a uh, beautiful, I think that was Nashville for a comedy competition. Yeah. In which I did make it to the second day. Anyway, I was about 20. A nine. Yeah. No, it was bad. It, I was bad. Yeah. I had to write my little jokes on my hand, but they thought it was part of the bit. That's funny. I didn't know how scared That's I was funny. to be on stage. But a man was recently incarcerated. He got on our bus near Chicago. And then about three stops later, I think we were around, I forget, but he was then arrested again because he kept on smoking and screaming. Yeah. Yeah, but I thought true. it was a hoot. That's true. Do you remember, uh, Ben, when me and you took that bus from New York to Washington, D.C.? It was great. And then, I mean, the trip started with a man trying to convince me to give him a, a blowjob <laughs> right in front of the Ralph Cramden statue. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, yeah. and, and went uh, around around. Ralph, yeah, you gotta take you to the moon. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that was wonderful. Port Authority. Yeah, oh yeah, port, that was the guy. Authority. It was like the guy that came up to you like seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, he, just... he had a big scar on his face. He just gotten off his all night cabbie shift. Cool. Uh, and he's like, hey, which is the perfect time to suck a guy's dick yeah. when he's been sitting down mm -hmm. driving in the summertime. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And he and yeah. he had he at first had, he was giving me directions to a nearby porno theater and mm. wanted to know if I was going to come along. Sure, sure. Uh, Why would you? And then uh, offered. Uh, well, a, we had a show. A good maybe. Yeah, you we couldn't were, come. We you were come. on actually. That was, that was our very first out of town show. Yeah, when that we were good. booked in the DC Podfest in the basement of a church. Yeah, he could have come, but uh, he didn't have this man suck him off. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have him suck. And then <laughs> after that, me and you got on the bus, Ben, and the whole way to DC, there was that woman behind us that was on her way oh, yes. to meet with Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, she's there. Yeah. Yeah. She, she was there. extremely mentally ill. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. she spent the entire trip practicing what she was going to say to yeah. Hillary. Uh, how I practice honestly. I practice <laughs> every day. I'm quite, well, quite a bit. Yeah. You never know. Being yeah. like, "Whoa, nice pussy." <laughs> there you go. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I once had a guy try to convince uh, me to help him steal a car mm -hmm. uh, in Dallas. He he was fresh out of prison. See, I remember my Greyhound trip. The last time I had a really bad Greyhound trip, I was stuck in the back of a Greyhound from Tallahassee to Palm Harbor, mm -hmm. and as I was Not going bad. down there, I I was stuck right by the bathroom. Obviously, everyone's running. Trip train on it right. to and everyone as they are doing so none of them are really talking about the fact that the restaurant is not inoperable it's not operable the so restroom. the poo poo the yeah. poo poo was building inside yeah. of this the little room the pyramid is yes. rising to this and then the i was and that, forced that, to watch kind of fun to hear it wibble wobble it, it was there. a lot of me watching um resident evil on silent Ah. Uh, but that was really fun and then well, also uh, it's just hard man bus life is difficult bus life's difficult but that's the secret to the good bus trip because the bathroom seats are never taken up unless it's totally full but it rarely is and then you do have three seats to yourself but you do have to get smell you do have to get used to the smell of human feces you just gotta and then also it. there's something about the diet of the traditional busser mm. and, and there's something about the drug use it, heroin makes a poopy real weird I yeah. feel like if you just made Greyhound buses like $15 more expensive there'd be less open open shit. No, but you know, that, no, it's for the you people, do Henry. You gotta be. You can't do it. Inflation. But yeah. you know who you probably saw on one of your bus rides, Marcus, was this young, next, brave performer. 
uh, how many this people? This is another video. I don't know if it's going to even make it to the the cut version of this, but I really like this video because it's art. How many people are discovered on Greyhound buses every day? I'm Tony Braxton. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, Ron Perlman. Yeah. Oh, he was a he loved the bus. Love the bus. He knew he was he's the number one seat sniffer. All right. You're right, academic. There would be no, no bus rides. Dude, uh, my no algorithm is full of freaking. Well, that is a yeah. Hey. Wow. wow, not this. Wow, I love this, this lady. I assume I, I assume it's a lady. No, where did the egg come from? Her vagina. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. look at this. Oh, I think that now you see now because that's a that's whoa. Oh, yeah, I see. It's oh, really it is coming, coming straight right out. out. It's coming straight because you can see how much lube came out with it because she's definitely lubing those things up before putting them in. Harrison's having a hard day today, so just think about the lube that's covering those eggs inside of that woman's vagina. I hope your day gets better. The thing is, this is actually safe for work. Yeah. I don't think we're seeing the snoocher. No, we're definitely I, seeing I the snoocher. I don't know. I think that no. if your boss saw you watching it, it, it would not necessarily be recommended. It's for an invasion work. of my privacy. Yeah. And she's wow, she has a lot. Yeah, they don't need writers for this, Perhita. You don't, you don't need your yeah. precious Ivy League writers. I saw a woman do to put a story arc together for this. This well, is real art. Well, the yeah. the reason why I believe that this is a oh, Alf trying to eat dinner. Sorry. Yeah. Well, but the reason why I believe that this is indeed coming from a vagina and not an anus or any sort of apparatus that might be attached hmm. is that okay? First of all, that egg got to be hard boiled. That's oh, not. That's oh, you definitely think that was a real that's, egg. That's, that's oh, definitely a real egg. I yeah, mean, that's, it seems like a woman with convictions. If you, uh, that's an artist. Yeah, what that if you is an put artist. A, a chicken egg up your V gene, but it's not raw, and it turns out that it is a chicken? Are you its mother? No. If it hatches, if in court, I think you are. If, if it was in court and I had to figure that out to get me off a murder, I'd talk to a lawyer. You're, you're talking. What you're talking about is a surrogacy here. And I would say people who have gone through a surrogacy where they've had a woman carry a child to term for them, mm -hmm. that woman does not become the mother. The it mother can. Is, it, man, man. She can. I She's am. closer to the mother than I am. <laughs> well, according to Bacademic, they believe it might be silicon. Uh, there might be silicon eggs. But I feel like, again, I, you're cutting off this. This this is a real that's a real dancer. Yeah. I feel like yeah. they'll hold that type of – because, again, she must have several up there. Or she – because she kind of goes on and off camera. She might be stuffing. As she steps mm. off and she's going and popping one in. So that's a little bit of a cheat there. This reminds me, I saw a gal do this in a, uh, at a strip club in Florida right by the airport. Mm -hmm. So that's good because you can get in, get out. Uh, and that was involving ping pongs. Mm -hmm. And man, she could throw those things out of her cooch. Yeah. It was absolutely uh, uh, impressive. It's yeah. a genuine skill. It really because is. We that, well, we talked about, remember the, uh, when I showed the video of the woman who has the strong vagina? Yeah. Yes. Because of yeah. the weights. Yeah. Yes. She said that, that her I vagina think about could, her. You could throw an axe at yeah. somebody, cut a yeah. tree yeah. in half. Wouldn't it be incredible if you were stuck in a fire and then some hot ass fire woman comes in there to save you and the first thing that she picks you up is by the nose, by the her pussy. Great. To drag you out of there. I that's empowerment. Yeah. That I is. think that's actually better than being president. <laughs> it is. Because I mean, that's beat direct fire. pussy horsepower. Yeah. I would rather hang out with anyone in any fire department over any of the presidents over the past maybe 300 years of this country. Really? Yeah, sure. Why not? At least they have something to talk about. Eat some chili. Talk about saving lives. Helping people. Over James Madison. James fucking Madison bro. over John over John Adams. James Madison was the first man to have no, a mistress. James Madison, uh, no, John Adams. First of all, he defended the British. Oh, I know it's good, I, but he's like an. He sounds British. These guys no, all sound real fucking stupid. Yeah, they, I think they would annoy me. <laughs> I think they would annoy me. Teddy they all have two first Teddy names. Roosevelt. You wouldn't want to hang out with Teddy Roosevelt. I would hang out with Teddy Roosevelt, but I'm not going. I'm not going to go quite as far as he is to prove that I'm a man because I didn't grow up in wealth, so I'm. Not, I don't have anything to prove. But yes, Teddy would be fun. He was but, an interesting guy, Teddy Roosevelt. I read that whole biography series on him and I like Teddy oh, Roosevelt. Yeah, and you know who would be a gr who I heard was a fantastic hang was Franklin Roosevelt. Oh yeah, I bet he amazing. was a hilarious. Oh, especially because he let you play with his legs. <laughs> That's the best part. He's just like, okay, you want to do spaghetti dance? And he's like, you know, I got to Hitler. And then you can <laughs> he go up to him and he goes, Whoa! and he goes like, ah! but couple, we all know that that fucker could fucking stand. Pop a couple of eggs in his butt and just have him pop them out there. That'll be strong. Yeah. The best part about Policy. a syndrome is that he wouldn't even know he had them up there. Maybe yeah. not. No, Maybe he not. wasn't. No, he he could feel everything. 
polio was it was a horribly painful condition. Well, you'll but be I'm happy saying to know that it's coming when, back. But but then you're paralyzed. Mm. Can you feel things up your butt while you're paralyzed? He, uh, I mean, you do you mean could Franklin Roosevelt feel things up his butt? Absolutely, yes. Oh. Uh, Would but, Eleanor have been around? <laughs> mm, maybe that's why she was drinking so much. She invented pegging. <laughs> Wasn't she an alcoholic? <laughs> no, not no, at all. Not in the, oh, not that's uh, that's not Ford's least, uh, wife. Yeah, yeah, Betty, Betty Ford. Ford. Yeah, Betty, Betty Ford. Ford. Yeah. yeah, she definitely got <laughs> yeah. hammered. There's a wide gulf between those two women. Oh, that's yeah, why yeah, they married yeah. them. Yeah, especially Absolutely. when uh, Barbara Bush is standing in between of them. Yeah. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, indeed. Because of her huge pussy. Yeah. You know, Guys. Eleanor was his cousin. Yes, they, were, so. they were cousins. They were fourth cousins. A long line really? of Bushes, indeed. All right, now let's, well, let's see this next video. Guys, Um, now this is legit. I wanted to show you this because this is one of my favorite shows ever, and I really want, I want you to see what this is. <laughs> this is pretty great. It's made by the guys that did NYPD Blue. Oh, a lot of Dennis um, Franz's butt. It's mm -hmm. burned into my brain. He actually was, that's my body inspiration. I understand Seeing completely. Dennis Franz's butt on television made me feel, I felt seen. God, but I now finally understand what Kamala was Do you remember the advertisements yeah. for that? Yeah. Oh, is this such a huge deal? Was he, did he have the hairy back? Or was it, because I seem to remember him being hairless. I believe he that had the they butt put a, that Henry had. They put a slick on him. <laughs> yeah, he was no, he was sheened, but this he had that big you, little butt. Is, yeah. You guys want to fucking talk some shit? Where's the, the doctor? Reason why I have this hairy back? What's yeah. in the doctor it keeps fight? Keeps me fucking honest. It keeps yep. me honest. Mm -hmm. All right, this hairy back is what shows my fucking European heritage. I'm a first generation immigrant. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not white. I'm Polish. Heritage. H a i r. That Hello. shows it. And the fact that you know how many shit why it's fucking you proud kept of being me Polish? from. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know how much shit it's fucking literally? I've cut myself off. opportunities because they needed somebody who was slick like an eel. You know fucking how many th that was hairless as a seal? They wanted Henry to change his name when he first started acting because they said Zabrowski was too ethnic. So they wanted him to be Henry Thomas. Wow. But they want, well, Henry, Henry Thomas, Thomas. Is, oh my Henry God. Thomas already taken. Yeah, Henry Thomas is the little Who? boy from E.T. I was just, is that right? Yeah. Yes, I was Hank, floated. You're going to be Hank Thomas. I was floated the idea Sounds like of a baseball player. Name, but I pitched the name Henry Chase Blair. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, so Zabrowski, right? Right then afterwards, I was like, so we're going to do that. <laughs> Henry Chase Blair. Henry Chase Blair. Did also, I found out that why Whoopi Goldberg, her first name is Whoopi. Why? Evidently in the 70s backstage, she was farting all the time. And then they were like, whoo, Whoopi coming through. It's a Whoopi. And that's true. And then they, she was like, great, my name is Whoopi. And her original first name was Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> And let's watch this video again. This this is a clip from one of my favorite shows I've ever seen. Okay. Roll call. Thank you. <laughs> yes, leave me alone. Leave Blair alone. Item oh seven. my goodness. Item seven, November 29, 3 p.m. Conflict resolution seminar in this room. Attendance mandatory. Oh, look at that. TV Why can't we just kill him? This is real TV. Conflict with that? Yeah, I do. It's resolved. You're going. <laughs> Item eight. Officer Quinn returns to active duty roster tomorrow. So, Jaeger, you'll ride with Ceruto. Oh, Lieutenant, give me a break. Jaeger's got yak breath. Yak I can't breath. ride. Yak <laughs> breath. Yeah, it's man. This fucking guy, this is how cops are, man. Type, we still got the Franklin Avenue flasher. Struck at two outdoor <laughs> weddings and a school picnic so far this month. Wow. Male cock, 6'3", look for tattoos in unusual places. <laughs> Male cock? Okay, that's it. And hey, hey, let's be careful out there. Let's be careful out there. Now, this is called Cop Rock. We're going to get into this. But listen to these guys' fucking pipes. He can really sing. Oh my goodness. He's got fucking. I love his joke. I love his voice. This is a. I feel like all country music sounds like this. It really does. He's very good. It's called Cop Rock. This is a real show by the creator of NYPD Blue to make a legit, serious musical cop show. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder who from this show is. Dude, look at this. Let's be careful out there. Man, he's, whoa, yeah, dude, it's an organ. Whoa. Oh, there's some hot fucking pipes right there. Wow, those are hot pipes. Woo, it keeps going, dude. That's truer 
This was on national television. <laughs> Network television. This was on ABC. You take this verse, you just put in a couple of lines about red solo cups and drinking on a dirt road. That's a fucking 2023 country music hit. She can sing, dude. There was no audience for police musical Cami Chaos. There no. was literally zero. It lasted for nine episodes. Well, I don't think the cast knows how to react. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, just cut this with footage of the police just beating the yeah, shit yeah, yeah, out of Rodney. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. I mean, did you notice at the very beginning of it when he's like, yeah, we're going to do some conflict resolution. They're like, oh, God. It's like, that's the thing that keeps cops from killing people. And yeah, none of them wanted to do it. They want to sing, Marcus. Let them sing. <laughs> yeah, wait. You think that this is going to go on long? Wait for the other videos, guys. <laughs> All right, we can shut this off. Shut this I mean, do we, do we, we, no, we only got I 10 mean, seconds left yeah. here. We got 20 seconds, 30 seconds. He just gets sad, and then he goes, All right, get the hell out of here. Do they clap? Okay. Yeah, that's it. No, they just get out. All right, now. let's go okay. kill some black people. What a meeting indeed. <laughs> it is crazy. All types of people they can kill. There was just, I watched somebody in Alabama just be arrested because they pierced their son's ear. Very bizarre. Very right? bizarre. I just want you to show you, this is just the absolutely putrid theme song by Randy Newman for Cop Rock Why called are you, Under wait, the hold Gun. hold on a second. Hold this on. is absolute horseshit. I think that you're setting this up for the audience to have bias against it. Play Why don't you let the audience... Make Just a decision it. if it's I, I can only make it for so through so now, long. Let me ask you that. Are you a Randy Newman fan? No. Okay. So well. So it's a mixture of actors hanging out that are in this show in a recording studio. Okay, hey. I kind of like it. I'm so 50-50 on Randy Newman. I just... Yeah, I'm 50-50 as well, but... What? Where are they? That, was that Paul Schaefer? Probably. Oh, we could almost rewind that. Might be. Like, is this in the police station? Why are the actors there with director's chairs? Oh, that guy's from freaking Robocop. Uh, Robocop. Yeah, that was He's Dick Jones. Evil. He's evil. evil. Well, the cops are just having a little break. Ugh, God. What? What are these characters doing? Why are they all? Why are they actors hanging out off stage? Well, because they're getting ready to go to work. But the rest of it is a not fourth wall breaking cop musical. Needs to make them yeah, feel human. No, Who's that what? guy? I, you don't want to know. Pete Onorati. I'm actually 70, 30. We haven't even like gotten him. now. We uh, haven't Randy even Newman's gotten him to Will. You've cut off the stream yet. He did a good job with Toy Story, I guess. Yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. he doesn't say words. Under the gun. He's saying under the gun. Oh, I do the Ooh, gun. Yeah, Ronnie Ron, Cox. No, Ronnie Cox. That's the guy from RoboCop. That's Dick Jones. I work for Dick Jones. Dick Jones owns the cops. OCB owns the cops. Steve. by Steven Bochka. He created Hillside Blues. Bosch. Yeah. He did NYPD Blue. I think that what happened was that he was so deeply drunk with power <laughs> that and he was so allowed to do whatever it is he wanted mm -hmm. that he just pitched this show. And he's like, get it. All right. Cop procedural. Love it, of course. You invented the cop Master procedural. You were right. He's like, musical. No, musical. Like, okay, well, so, okay, so it's like funny, campy? No. Serious. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Hard edge. Because the other, all of the, like, there's like two episodes about rape. <laughs> he he says rape like three times in that They song. sing it. I think they yeah. sing it. He is, uh, he died in 2018. Um, so there you go. He yeah. did win a date primetime Emmy Award. Yes, yeah. he made. He yeah. was very, very, very successful. PD Blue wow. was, a, was considered a groundbreaking show at the time. Let's watch this next video. This is called What You Don't Do With The Dove. Some people might get mad because they get mad at uh, anything that involves you know what, an animal. But this is. Uh, I found this to be very, very bird, funny. Yeah. Do you know what he died of? Uh, leukemia. Huh. I was going to guess tuberculosis. No, leukemia. It wasn't just from, like, a guy named Lou beat him with a... With <laughs> What's a interesting is, he, in 2014, he had leukemia. But you know what he got? A rare bone marrow transplant. Yeah. Probably because somebody loved that show. Yeah, People love Cop Rock. But it only lasted for four years. So no, Mandar, kind of no. That was not Randy Newman. Randy Newman is still alive. 
Yeah. No, ran- no, this is Botchko. Yeah, no. No, Randy, no, Randy, Newman. Newman, Randy Newman's still alive, and he's very much, I mean, I want to say he's angry. I oh, think he probably. wrote a song like, Trump sizzle, be Trump's are nice, not nice, right? Like, he did some <laughs> stupid political thing. That yeah, he yeah. don't yeah. give yeah, me Things that fuck. make it worse. Yeah, right. um, wow. Let's watch this video. And my brothers. I heard David said just the other day, oh, oh, if I had wings like this dove, <laughs> for work. then why I fly away oh, and be at rest. <laughs> no, just, it looked really so, dead, dude. So dead. Well, you was, gotta know the bird's dead. I think, I think what is this sometimes what people do with these animals in captivity, Aww. they cut their wings. You know, they, they snip the wings yes. so they can't fly away. And I think this guy bought a dove that had cut wings <laughs> and so when he threw it up into the air it couldn't fly <laughs> and, then when it, and then when it hit the ground it's fucking her neck probably broke <laughs> well yeah, yeah. Uh, that is very sad <laughs> i just love that it's at a funeral <laughs> nothing makes me happier than a than a full technical <laughs> difficulties yeah. at, a, at a funeral i can also never understand filming the funeral well, I never in my life will wait understand. Wait till mine. <laughs> you want to see it again and again and again. And again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I always, I, always, I, always I want to relive every always. funeral. That's the thing. That every uh. funeral I've ever been to, I'm always like, man, that's a memory I wish I could, you know, really instill into my brain and never but forget. And if it's one of those really big funerals, like uh, DMX's funeral, there's big yeah. rides, yeah. That's cars, different. And showmanship. And I we and I don't got to know see that. I got to see DMX's body on the going from Yonkers down to New you York City, it. and it was amazing. But that would be extremely sad if you knew dmx personally yes you would have been mourning that day yes and yes you would have been on the back of a giant crimson pickup truck yes. with 10 foot wheels but yeah. you'd still be crying at the club no yeah those rough riders were riding oh. those bikes in a very depressing way. Oh, oh, very they irresponsible <laughs> well absolutely <laughs> well interestingly enough about botchko in 1999 you know what kind of uh, award he got from the director's guild of america uh biggest patoot <laughs> diversity Ah, so you see, because he, he had the all different types award. of white. Isn't yeah. that nice? Mm-hmm. See, there was remember there was the... like there was two black people. I remember that in that whole thing. Oh yeah. yeah, and I remember at one point I was told I was a diversity hire because I was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Hollywood fun? Uh, Isn't Hollywood a really fun choice because I, I wasn't handsome. I, d- I actually yeah. don't know if you're joking. No, I am not. You're not. No, I'm to be the way I was. You were a diversity <laughs> hire because you were. I was not. Attractive. Well, wow. os- the Oscars have a whole series of different rules starting like next year, so maybe you can squeeze in and pretend. You know, you're Polish. Yeah. How well, many Polish representatives are there in, in acting? Henry, they, they make them change their names. Henry, I think you're adorable. Finally, somebody sees. <laughs> this guy. Got, Finally, somebody knows. <laughs> this guy got 34 Emmy nominations, 10 wins, none of them for cop rock. I will say some people say here Chris says serious note recording funerals helps a lot with closure sometimes. I don't Does it? it's already closed. I don't but yeah, it's, I don't I don't understand that. I and guess. Is it I'll watch the Cheney's funeral on loop. Is it watching oh, it that later? I guess maybe it's watching it later with like clearer eyes. I don't know. Again, mm. it has to have like showmanship. It has to be a whole thing. You yeah. can't actually be directly connected. I would never want to meet the person that just watches the funeral of a best friend over and over and over and over again. I don't yeah. want to see it. Unless, yeah. again, the eulogy was hilarious. Yes. Yeah, but even then. Now, let's ask ourselves the question here. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you for the people. Who, I did beg for compliments, mm. so thank you for the for people oh, saying just, that I'm nice and I'm, I'm not disgusting. Thank you for saying Just that. lastly, Botchko Television Hall of Fame 1996. Nice. I mean, yeah, Even you can do it. Rock. If he did it, you can do it. I can't wait. Now we're going to ask the essential question we always ask on my mandate. Will you shut off the stream? Ooh. Now this might need a little bit of explanation. Please. Um, because this is... Uh, <laughs> this uh, we're gonna see if we get through. This is a short. This is the longer one. That is about erectile, erectile dysfunction. Yeah, I'm pretty that photo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna start streaming. This is Mark Zuckerberg's sister. But she seems like a lot, and I feel like with Zuckerberg, like I feel like she would be an exhausting hang, and I think with Zuckerberg, you could just have an awkward hang, and then you go home. Yeah. I feel like in a way, because we are comedians, we've discovered, look at stupid fucking Musk, right? Same thing. They would look at you as if like they want to ingratiate themselves to yeah. you because you're like a funny They're going to try really hard. They're going to try really hard where she is just going to say something really fucked up. Like I feel like yeah. she's going to end up saying something that you can't, no one can take back. Well, but to be yeah. fair, though, have to leave. 
Yeah. You know, you can break the awkward tension, perhaps, if there's some sparks sexually that fly. So yeah. maybe it is better to hang out with her. With Mark, if it's awkward, that's all you got. Sloppy yeah. Corn says, crypto communities that tell you to hold are coordinating pump and dumps. Don't. Ah. Do. Pump and dumps. Pump and dumps. Do either one of you want to try to explain what a pump and dump is? It's pump. where you fucking, it's where they tell you to buy a bunch of bullshit yes. and then you have to dump it really fast. But when you do that, it makes the whole thing collapse. But that's they, the idea. So the people that pumped it and dumped it, then they get the money. The people that are on the coordinated side of it, we used to, that's sort of like insider trading, but uh -huh. it's the yeah. what they do in, in one type of scam part of crypto. I, do I not, I do believe, but you know, money's not, money is fake. So it can be anything. I don't yeah. th really care about it, but it's just the it people around like it. It all collapsed. People you just seem are, are very, um, people are, are mean and dumb. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ben is horny. You're right, Clark. He's looking for honestly, Mrs. Zuckerberg. Project. <laughs> project. This is the time, man. That's your own fucking beer. No, project yeah. is that. You will make sweet love. She's a love project. To her. You that's what I'm saying. You'll She's make sweet project, love to her, yeah. but you don't understand. In the end, you guys are saving each other. Like Jerry and you. Yeah. Oh my dog. Uh no. But it would be not, the wedding would be big. It would be. It would be. It would be. No, be, I'm be sure big. that she she's probably married to that sucker they got in the video. You know who should get married uh, yeah. is this next couple. Yeah. If we now this is a story. Mark Zuckerberg. This is a TikTok OnlyFans couple that I believe has a 47 year age gap, and they want you know mostly the lady wants you to know she's still alive. Dude, there's so many of these now. Yep. I'm tired of y'all yeah. saying that I'm dead. I'm really alive, alive more than some of y'all are trying to live my life, but y'all are trying to put a damper on it by saying Don't. that it's true. It's true. you're bullying, hurting me, my yeah. soul. Don't do that. My self-esteem. Yeah. Oh. 67 and years fun. And much more. If people, my relatives, call me a two and drop me back in the morning. It's kind of nice. It's dude. not real. I'm not real. He is just grabbing them tits. Well, oh, know, wow. I'm yeah. Still alive. What? Still alive? I'm breathing just like you are. She's yeah. a, she, I don't I know. Get it. She might be dead. This shit needs to stop. Okay. It's not no joke, no prank. Since the Palem, my guy and I have a 15 year death. age gap. That's cool. You need to think about it really seriously. Do better. Do better. I agree with sure, her. Sure, yeah. I'll, 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 I, I think she's very really pretty. 67 years old. Death and life, it's true. Well, the thing is, they're, they're being only so mean to this elderly woman. I I can't show the clips that I end up finding, but they are fucking. <laughs> they go at it. So they are kiss they, and they do all those things. Sure. So is it like a? Does she get railed? <laughs> <laughs> They're in a relationship together. No, but I mean, the OnlyFans, you never know how far an OnlyFans will go. Sometimes well. you have like a pretty intense one, like, you know, our friend Nadia White or OnlyFans, I would imagine. No, yeah, she gets very fucking intense. Full way, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she won't do, uh, they, they did a funny video about how she won't do anal. Okay, yeah. That was like the Not main anymore. thing. She said, don't do anything. But honestly, I think it's because at this point, that's hard. To, it's real hard on it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you I know, because I, I know I'm spry. And I can't. Yeah. I'm not getting paid. I can't do it. I have. A, I have a note from a doctor saying I can't do anal. They begged you not to. Yeah, they really yeah. did. Yeah. Well, that was the first question when I first went to the doctor with the bleeding asshole. The first thing they asked is how much anal sex are you having? Uh -huh. They as immediately assumed. Ed Nagin is correct. Oh, Even if this is a Oklahoma? fake relationship <laughs> that the most people think it is, they are so committed to the bit they might as well be dating. That's correct. Might as well yeah. be. Some, it's yeah. like having a con job. When you con a bunch of people, which is actually much harder than just having a There's job. no way that Nadia doesn't do anal. She has a tattoo no. that says butt slap. What are you talking about? You just look at naked anal. pictures of Nadia. I no, I was trying like... to find a... She's wrestling. She's up for the championship. She's great, But yes. I can't yeah. find the... No, no, no. no, no. Nadia's done more Nadia's anal. Nadia's doing anal, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that's thought you guys were saying that's she half her job. I no, no, never. I would say Nadia has probably done more anal scenes than we've done episodes of the podcast. Backonomic says I fucked some twenty-two years my senior last weekend. There hmm. you go. See, again, I Bro, have no we problems. Were, we I have were, no problems with the age. No. It's the woman begging people to believe that she's still alive. Yeah, and then really afterwards, because there is a lot to be thought of. There's, there's also another disgusting video that just didn't show. Yeah. I didn't think that video was disgusting. I didn't think it was just more about him gripping her titties. Yeah. Uh, we actually had an experience when we were in India. Indiana, uh, we had to go out to that bar that night, and it was a fantastic time. But man, old people are horny. And I also yeah. read an article where they said sex gets better with age. Oh, I bet. Because I think you just stop. I don't think you care anymore. Well, yeah, your inhibitions are gone. You can yeah. really get into it. You can really 
feel everything. Mm -hmm. Do you think it'd be more all like all up in the ass, butt eating, all that kind of shit? But even though everyone's super old, I think that that's why all the STDs are around retirement homes and stuff. Yeah, I think well, I mean, nuts. they're just straight going for you know vag. But I mean, you don't get an <laughs> STD; you get pink eye from eating ass. But you can you know, get an STD from eating ass. Oh, I'm sure you can. Yeah. You can definitely give anal uh, herpes. The, the, if you got a herpy, that thing can go whip right around. You get the worst Christmas gift I'll ever herpy the, herpy the love bug. <laughs> Not to be confused with Herbie. That's actually a really funny parody that you should write. Herpy the love bug. Ooh, maybe I'll do that for the comic book. I, I love it. It's I, a talking, walking herpy. Do you it. want to remember the first love of your life? Leave it to me. Herpy the herpy. Let's watch this viral video from Russia. I want to actually see you do a one a one pager. Just uh, let's just see if you. I love to see. I gotta talk. I with her. I gotta talk with our with our Z two gal this week. So I, Courtney, I, I know so many artists who would jump at doing a one pager with you. Herpy, herpy the, the herpy. Herpy the love. Well, herpy. it's like a herpy sore that can talk. Yeah. Right. And, and then a it herpy can that jump reminds off. you. Didn't you love that time? Because isn't it a fun experience when you get a herpy? Yeah, I mean, yeah. When I got herpes, like oral herpes, like it was actually a great night. It was, it was just really everything fun. else. It was everything after that. And how many that years ago was that? Uh, that would have been 2008. 2000, so it was no, one, maybe 2007, 2007, 2008. Those three years really. Okay, so it's just been 16 years of pain and, mm -hmm. and monthly, you know, issues. We put a cram on it, right? It was working. Yeah, I got a cram. No, I had a cold sore you know, um, you, there during, a, during during our wedding. I had a cold sore. It was it was quite uh, inconvenient. So, That's so, great. You know that the, right now there's a whole TikTok world for herpes adventurers. I believe it's called herpes adventurers. Germ chasers. Adventurers. Well, they aware. It's like herpes... Uh, captains the germ chaser that's very real out there if you do have herpes you can go on a germ chaser website and you're like a 10 no matter I what i don't think anyone's j chasing germs for that one because aids at the time there was like where that term germ chaser it came out bug chaser, bug chaser. Yeah. Bug. and that came out because it was the elicit the idea of like you know this like deathly plague that would kill each other and all that kind of shit where herpes mm. just sucks no. yeah, yeah i mean you could die of herpes but you'd have it. to be you'd have to be well you can get syphilis i think if it goes untreated no, i think those are can. separate mm -hmm. yeah they're totally separate mm -hmm. no, they can't. Mm -hmm. let's, let's watch this next we story. just don't know though do we We just don't really know <laughs> uh oh beautiful language beautiful beautiful Ooh, mm -hmm. wow. on fixer upper water it's just vodka <laughs> itak дорогие друзья God, this oh. is sad. Ooh, there's a that's a cat. Все уже готово. Вода. Кипяченое масло. We cook that water up. Я надеюсь, то что я не пострадаю. Sure, toast that water up. Итак, I think there's already some in that pan. Again, there's definitely herpes specific entry. Два. Три. Oh, buddy, why would you do that? <laughs> so that was oil. <laughs> well, that is just not smart. So that's just what you do. That's America's funniest uh, home videos yeah, in Russia. <laughs> this video went uh, viral in Russia because of that dude's scream. Oh, that was the guy screaming. What did he think was going to happen? This is exactly what he wanted. That's what he wanted. Yeah. Yeah. What's he saying? I think he's saying, holy shit. Do we have any Russian translators in chat? Somebody Buryat. Russian? I mean, did he ever say Buryat? They did. He, he, he is saying Buryat. 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 What is Buryat? Uh, fuck. It's like, fuck. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's you know saying that is, a lot. Yeah. It's, the, uh, it's the equivalent of fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Oh. Buryat. Well, what a fun day in that apartment. Why do people just destroy their homes? I don't think he liked it very much. Yeah. And it's not it a government house. It's not his home. He's yeah. probably squatting. He mm. might be. Uh, yeah. In Russia, yeah. doesn't like, doesn't home squat you? <laughs> there you go. In Russia, <laughs> Russia home don't they, live in you. Don't they give you an apartment and then you get your like little yeah, like captain's the, hat? And don't you get your rice you're bag? You're thinking of the USSR. That was fucking 30 years ago but Libya. you don't go there 40. they don't make you go to the gulag and you don't got to go to the borscht factory each morning and you don't yeah. have to go talk to no Yanka you do have to go to the borscht you factory do, you do have to that is true that is one holdover after the fall of uh the ussr they did hold over the borscht factory that was the first thing they voted on when they got you know the freedom the oh, right? is a, Eat a cold. To, everyone gets to everyone it went from everyone has to go to the borscht factory to everyone gets to go to the I'm borscht factory i'm sensing some facetiousness i'm yes, sensing indeed. like you might be and lying. i don't even know why i opened up a borscht restaurant i called it ah oh, borscht Portions. Oh yeah, just, and no according one to can. Devin, and maybe this is real or not, but it might just be the universal language. He was saying, "Oh no, why did I do that? My parents are going to kill me." Oh fuck! Oh, his parents are so dead. <laughs> yeah, 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 his parents are way dead. But I thought they were at the gulag. I thought then they were there dead. fighting, fighting the uh, Af Afghani's over uh, uranium piles. That was a long time ago, <laughs> that buddy. Seven, that was the '80s, I believe. 
long I don't know. time ago. There's a funny movie about it, Charlie Wilson's <laughs> War. Yeah. It's not a funny a movie. You know, but it's a, a garbage a ass movie. You know, it's a you funny know, movie a about it though. Spies like us. That, that is, is a good, good movie. movie. That's a great movie. And to punish everybody, we're gonna skip to the well, you shut off the stream again. Oh wow. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do it because this is a good one. This is a good one because we gotta do another Will You Shut Off the Stream because I couldn't decide. Okay, doubles. This is a good one. I like the doubles. Okay. Yeah. No one is it? Yeah, Baba Yaga will sudden. Again, E D. Mm -hmm. It's a real issue for a lot of people. They say Harrison says Russia is Kentucky with more snow. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. I can see that. Wow. wow. Is that Jerry O'Connor? Yeah. Hell yeah. And his fan that now appears yeah, to have a new member. Yeah. Looking good, Jerry. Now, I want to go see Corey Feldman live. Yes, I'm going to perform with the Corey and his incredible band. Okay. I'm always pulling for Gary O'Connor. I love Slider. But I better come correct. Thank you for lending me these clothes, everybody. I really appreciate it. You look like a rock star, buddy. He does. I'm actually going to expect some great performance now. Is everybody ready to see the God, good morning. Morning television is hell. So this is his show, right? No, now this is the classic, this is the talk. This is on American television. Yes, dude. I love you, Jerry. Not sure about this move, but you know what? Have fun with it. Ooh, yeah. Taking weird, all the way oh, Where they're man. starting with the bass on this. Well, they're in Stand by Me together. They're in the movie Stand by Me. And this is the song. Oh, no, I, no, I know. I know that. I'm talking about the orchestra. It's weird that they start with the bass. They then they didn't get Will Wheaton because I know because River Phoenix is dead. Oh, right, River is but yeah, still but Will there. but Will Wheaton I I think probably said no. Yeah, I can see him not being as talented as Jerry O'Connell. Well, he's got his own he's got his own line. Oh. <laughs> he's wearing that Dune jacket. It's an angel. He's got an angel with him. I know he wasn't molested by Michael Jackson, but I do think he's the biggest victim. No, he was the only one that Michael Jackson didn't molest oh, because no. they saw eye to eye. Macaulay Culkin as well. He didn't oh, there's tons Macaulay that he didn't. Yeah, yeah. It's like most of ch most children. Yeah. Except oh, for those yeah, like if you're, 25. If you're going over, yeah. I mean, that's you know what I mean? If you're going like billions of children. Yeah. yeah. The Angels, I don't think, made it through customs. Pippa. Darling, darling, stay by it's just hey. pure death. They're one of the Angels is right behind them. I feel like D Jerry O'Connell should have taken the lead on this. This is 2020. This is 2020? Yes. This is 2023. This oh, is This is like three weeks ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. God. Oh, he's getting it. I think he has it. I like him. I like I, what's going on. He seems to be getting more of a hand line. I don't think he practiced very much. I feel like our television has become worse than Russia's. I actually think I like him as a performer, not a singer. Yeah. Yeah, Jerry is just trying to have some fun. You're right. If I'm yeah. Yeah. Jerry's having fun. He's just fine. He doesn't know what to do. He's as awkward as anybody else. But you know what? I feel like he's really dealing with the awkward as well. He is. And he's sitting in there. He can't leave. See? But now why did Corey choose singing as like the thing? Because he's Michael Jackson Jr. Yeah. I know, but he doesn't have a good voice though. I mean, I would I mean, see him in a heartbeat. I this is a lot. Better than I remembered it being when I when I first saw him. Yeah. Well, but, well, I mean, Jerry O'Connell once once he has Jerry O'Connell to follow, then he's okay. Apparently, he doesn't treat the angels as well as he could. I don't know. I don't think those women understand they could be treated better. How sad are those people's lives? I mean, they showed up at 6 a.m. to be in a morning show game. Yeah, this I is really kind of wholesome. Oh, it's, it's very, very wholesome. Very much so. In the, the years of trauma that goes into this song. It here. really is. Well, that's the thing. That's the reason why he went to sing because he got from his you know plane. You in trouble? You just stay. He got blacklisted from the acting business because of all the you know. And then he lost his friend Corey Hay, the two Corys. Yeah. So. And he just and that's a, at one point he just became Corey Feldman, and once you become the personality, you can no longer be an actor. I do like that Jerry O.C. Look at that. You know, upon rewatching it, is it not the best version of Stand By Me I've ever heard? I no. think it might be. But I like their energy together. Obviously, they have a past. They do. 
I think this is Jerry feeling bad because he knew for a fact that Corey Feldman was molested and they did not like really, you know, at the time it was very complicated. He was a child. Hooray for you, you wow. made it! 431. I mean, it, for you. To be frank, it did go by kind of fast. You know, I feel like Jerry O'Connell always answers Corey's calls. Oh, yes. He, he always does. And I think a part of the, you never we know, know what's the last one. his life, we know that Corey's led a difficult life. Yes. We know that he is a, he's an enthusiastic man. Very. He probably doesn't necessarily play like his bills fast. <laughs> You know oh, what I mean? I Jerry O'Connell is probably Jer Jerry's mostly probably like, uh, you know, I'll hang out. We'll do something. There's a production company involved, right? Mm -hmm. This isn't your company, right, Corey? Yeah. Like, as long as he's probably he's right. probably asking some questions like that, and Corey's like, never. I mean, no one answers my my own company's on fire. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I know, I know, Corey. I know, yeah. you know, like probably that. It would be fun to hang out with Corey, but I do think it's a little Cinderella-ish. After midnight, I think it would just get very sad. I think I think, the, I think the horse turns. Or I think the carriage turns into a pumpkin, and then it's like a lot of crying, and then I've it's heard 6 a.m. I've then heard the same about Pauly Shore. Is that Paulie Shore is a very nice man, and yeah. I've heard he just gets very it gets dark. See, it's dark. He gets yeah. very sad. It's it really sad because you see him recently. He always complains about the. He's like, the guy got a raw deal yeah. and shit. But it's like I say, no man. The weasel about? was supposed to be on top of the world for three years max. Yeah, that is what you got. I think he actually got more than that. If you Plus, if you got go, a raw deal, he was born into the fucking comedy store. From Encino Man to Jury Duty, that's like six years. You yeah. got to munch on grindage in front of America <laughs> for was, most of a decade. Yeah, yeah, he was all over MTV. That's the deal. Yeah, that is the deal. If you yeah. get you get five years and you go, that's, that's the, what it. do you, you even, want more time? Even before Encino Man, he was on MTV for probably a year or two. See, he dude, freaking he got almost um, a decade. The one with the with the uh, the country boy there, the son-in-law, son-in-law. Son Right. was great. Was very he had five movie. major motion pictures. Yeah. He did very what well. Do you mean, he had raw deal. duty. He had in the was it in the army now? In the yes. Army now? Yeah. Yeah. Biodome. Biodome. Bio very I remember, good. I remember I watched Biodome. I saw it in the theaters. Me too. Because my uh, birthday is in January, and that was always the thing uh, to go to Abilene, drive the hour to Abilene to the movie theater to see a movie. Hey Marcus, don't forget to put your pants on. Yeah. We're oh, going yeah. to the movie. Oh, but, but Mama, what if the whale falls on? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> and then I. I would take <laughs> yeah. I would take my friends or the, the you know the, the kids that hung out with me <laughs> not necessarily friends but the kids anyone that, that were you around, could find anyone I could find maybe a pig or two uh, they never enjoyed the movies that I chose uh, because it was January nineteenth it's, it's your the, birthday it's like it's, the worst time it's for the worst, cinema it's the yeah. worst time for movies it's so where it's they like, put all the abortions yeah that, it's like yeah, we saw yeah. Biodome one year one year we saw Star Trek six Ooh. no one knew what was going on I remember on. Star oh. Trek six yeah not the, good. Star Trek six was really really bad but yeah Biodome we was tried. the worst one because the kids. Uh, I enjoyed it, and then all the other kids like actively made fun of me afterwards. The entire ride home. No, they were actually wrong. Uh, Biodome for, was a perfect movie for children. Hey, it is. It was incredibly. Kylie Minogue. And was wasn't in there it. boobs? Oh, yeah. 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 there was no boob adjacent, but there um, was that hot. There was hot babes. Yeah, Kylie uh, Minogue. Uh, question was Question for the chat, Marcus. Uh, would you guys? Would you say like we're gonna go down to the picture show? Did you call it the picture show? No, we call well the drive-in. We call that shows. Yeah, we got we like you're gonna go to the shows on Saturday, so we didn't call it the picture shows. But yeah, the drive-in and roll. That was like 10 miles away. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you going Whoa. to the shows on Sunday? So, yeah, we would. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, my dad just took me to the fuck house. <laughs> Ooh. And I hated the fuck house just because, oh, we're all squealing, squealing, squealing. Yeah. Yes, indeed. The joys of being the child yeah. of the NYPD. Yeah. Well, a lot of people in the chat's going off on Andy Dick. We know Andy Dick is bad. And we know yeah, that. We, we know that. Yeah. And Andy he was Dick. And Why was Andy Dick gotten brought up? Because he was in, 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 that in the army. He was that in world. the movie In the Army Now mm. with Polly Shore. They co starred I did say I did see something with Andy Dick, and it was making me sad. With a man kidnapped. He him. started. He was yeah, literally I mean, he, kidnapped. But he kind of let himself be, and now he just recently attacked somebody. So he's a oh no, he's he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's yeah, yeah, he's yeah, yeah, he's bad. He was good in uh, Cable Guy, though. It was uh, great. Drugs, he's great. Drugs. He used to be great. Be careful with drugs. Be careful with drugs. Be careful with drugs. Especially and Advil. It's bad for the liver. Let's look at this next video. True. Oh yeah, I like this one. I don't know what's going Agencies on here. Agencies reporting this oh my God. partnership <laughs> has yielded meaningful impact. KB's Illabella She's very Isabella pretty. I think she might be Baskin nervous. Joins is us live from Austin City Hall to share these new numbers. She's Isabella, what did you learn this she's morning? She's on. I think she's taken the wrong medication. Bro, she woke up wrong. No. She has no idea. She's cute. She has no idea where the oh, hell she, she is. She kind of looks like Mrs. Firefly. You know what she looks like? She, you remember in Gremlins 2, the wacky gremlin? The one that... Yeah. The, he, <laughs> well, Jenny, APD Police Chief Kringen says they're comparing this she data every single week to the year before. 
And Kringen says in the areas where DPS troopers were working, voice. APD recorded yes, she's a 58% a professional reduction report. Oh, yeah. in violent crime. Jenny, so she's she's this is Roku, Roku TV. Roku Roku with Roku. some new data coming out of the Austin Police Department. It seems as of right now, according to their data, this it's partnership just her is face. working. Isabella, it could, okay, so it could be a number of things. That all that looks like yeah. a face, like maybe took too much Adderall. Yes. Uh, yes. Maybe tried Wellbutrin for the first time, and it oh. did not work out because it can give you anxiety. You think it would make you or, that googly-eyed? Yeah, I took well butrin one time and it was awful. Or diarrhea. And you think no, she got a shit? She's, she's, hold, she's holding she's holding on to it. That's the no. thing. She's holding on to it and it's getting up to I the eyeball. I think when you have diarrhea, you're on point. That's how because I feel. Because I feel yeah. like they throw it you be like, all right, that's what the city council said that indeed <laughs> yeah. no more forts are allowed downtown. Back to you, Bethany. If and you then you grab your stomach and you walk out there. If true. you see me like rolling over medians and shit. <laughs> It's because I got a shit, right? If I'm yeah. driving, if I'm drifting, it's because I got a shit. You know what's Absolutely. interesting? I haven't had diarrhea since I moved to Los Angeles. You're Maybe welcome. it's the water. Water here is terrible. It actually could be. Actually, I don't taste the difference that much, but it could be. What would be the difference in your probably less Indian food? No, I actually found a good Indian food place. Okay, maybe India's, India's clay pit. It's not. Oh yeah, bad. India's I know clay that place. Pit. It's India's, good. It's not. It's really not. It's nowhere like it. near as good as the Brooklyn places, but it's still pretty good. It's you good. just gotta deal with it. I I am doing. You have to deal with it. Honestly, honestly with it. but we. It, it's a trade off with the Mexican food, isn't it? It really is, it's and true. the Thai food as well, and the sushi. All yes. three it's are superior. Trade-off. And it's good. All right, let's watch this next one. All right. I know we're close to it, but then I'm all well. Blow. These are all quick. No. Sure, sure. It's your man. This is just showing. Okay, this just scared the shit out of me. Molten, that's molten metal. Oh, that God. is molten metal. This is a. This is obviously some for. I got this from a one of these work accidents. I was just watching a bunch of videos like this on YouTube. Big. I, this shit videos. freaks me out. So, this is the kind of shit of why I can't have a real job. No, this is yeah. for us. This is, we're not. We don't have the brain for this it. This is real. This is a real job. Is that, there a person back there? No, no. no oh, it's okay. just a hovering thing. Oh, here, here comes, comes a person. person. Well, yeah, right here. Yeah. He's looking at. Oh, don't it. don't dive in there. What no, are you doing? No, no, Why are you getting no, so no. close to it? Well, it's because in in there normally you'd be safe. Yeah, they. I guess they don't. Just, I mean, he's gonna get. You're gonna go because they have to transfer in. it. There's another guy coming in. I mean, this is their job. No, this is their job. I know. There's these are the people that make the world go. Industry. It's Masters fucking, of industry. Captains okay. of industry. All right. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I don't know what they're doing. This is the because you can see it's outside. Okay. No. So now they got shift. Function. Now you see how oh, it's not gone. Malfunction. I see. This seems like a malfunction. I think. I think that's gonna fall. It, over. it feels like. Watch out! Watch yeah, you're gonna see this watch. little machine. I don't know if that's driven by a dude. Yeah, it's driven by a guy yeah. in a full four cloth thing. Feels like there's a clamp thing, though. that's on that shouldn't be on. Something is not correct. You can literally see as he's moving it back. Yeah. This is so fucking scary. It's too loose. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Good. good. It is fucking yeah. scary. You know what that it's hell on earth. Yeah, it's, fun. it's it's not. It wasn't a clamp. It was a brake. The the brake was on the wheels. Yeah. God, that's fuck. Go. But look at how this burns. Jesus. This scares the living shit out of me. My God. It killed the Terminator. It killed Arnie. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Arnie Man, works over. Down. Works the, over. Well, no, I think work just began for a long time. Yeah. Wow. Well, no, yeah, there's no or sound. Fired. There's no sound, Marcus. Just so you know, this just because I feel like the sound yeah. would be god awful. Oh, yeah, there's rarely ever sound in surveillance videos. Well, this is probably a billion dollars worth of damage right there. It's a God. large, Everything's large gone. Fuck yeah, everything there's a sh- shrub gone. says he didn't unhook it. That's yeah. really, like, because also that's, you know, besides probably human injury, that must have been caused. It's also just constant. Right. That is a, that whole thing has to be, I, because I know redo now. It. You're going to want to redo. Because yeah. metal, molten metal actually is weirdly easy to, maybe I am incorrect when the, the chat can come at me, is that they, uh, I believe that molten metal is actually not that difficult to lift up and out. That mm-hmm. once it so, once it solidifies, yeah. that on the, on the ones on first contact will touch. But it's like, do you remember the elephant foot at the bottom of Chernobyl? Oh, yeah. Like technically, like they could remove it. Yeah. It's just extremely deadly. Yeah. You just can't go. It's yeah, just that's yeah. so radioactive yeah. that it'll obliterate your cells well, by the time so you get I, close I to think it. Technically, where, you can't then. But no, but that's molten metal. It's not radioactive material. Mm. So they're saying that they actually you can lift it up off of other metals. Yeah, fairly, it's, like, it's not easy, but it's like when uh, when you're a kid and you used to set your army men on fire and they would melt down. You could still pick it up and move it after it dried. Yep. Yep. Sure. Sure. Yep. 
That's what we do with my grandpa once he got that little fucking jar. Yep. (laughs) Once my grandpa was a little jar, he went from 185 pounds of Scottish hard dick warrior of the fucking travel industry. And now he's just a three pound little dust bunny. And you know what? We love him. Mm -hmm. We do love Mm -hmm. him indeed. That's great fun. I love that Vietnam army men set. He was WW2. He's WW2. He loved it. Yeah. He, he killed a lot of yeah. Nazis. My papa was also WW2. He loved it too, but he was actually, he got lucky. He was in boot camp when we dropped the bomb on uh, Japan. Oh. But the thing was, that was the last good war to be a yeah. part of. His brother oh. was not so lucky. His brother was in the Bataan Death March. Uh, he survived though, and then delivered uh, three of the Bush children. So we, should we call it the Bataan Smile March? <laughs> Why wouldn't we? Um, well, I, mean, I think he that we've done it. Three, you're, you're, he delivered three of the Bush children? I just yeah, wanted so to. He could have literally just he, he, became a, he became a very successful. So he opposite. delivered like Prescott Bush's like children? Uh, he delivered like a couple of George, like he didn't deliver Jeb or George, but like all the other ones. Think about how useful a very systematic <laughs> would have been. But that's the thing. Like he didn't he, deliver the right ones. He delivered the inconsequential ones. Yeah, yeah sloppy corn. I came for your goddamn pop-up. My pop-up came for your pop-up and his fucking pop-up. No, he had an opa. Opa. Same so that's what you do when, you, when you're having fun. Opa. Let's just watch this real quick before we get out of here. Oh, okay. I've been waiting for this one. This is a guy who's been doing a bunch of content in his room for his ring camp. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I had White Castle for lunch, also known as Belly Bombers or Sliders. This is why. <laughs> I got a oh, car yeah. of farts. <laughs> hey, that's it. That's my mandate. Yeah. These ring camps have really been mandate. finding us the best and the brightest. All oh. right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching the stream. We'll be back next week. I believe it's my mandate. It is. Uh, I know. So I think if, if Fernando is around, it should be the Fernando. I think it's a Fernando. Yeah. It, it might be a him? Fernando, but it also might be mine. Maybe Fernando will do it later. We'll, yeah. s- we'll, we'll make figure a it out. We'll game it out. time decision. Save okay, hail yourselves, everyone. Bye. Bye. Uh, don't mean a fear. You did it. Go pick.